Hey everyone, this chapter is on speed, time and distance. I hope everybody knows about speed, time and distance. So we have speed equals to distance upon time. And so we get time is equal to speed upon distance and distance is equals to speed times time. Well, everybody knows these formulas. Let us put them to test by solving a question. A man travels at a speed of 10 kilometers per hour. In how much time will he cover 2500 meters? So you have been given the speed of this man, which is 10 kilometers per hour. And we know the distance he covers. So distance is 2500 meters. Well, whenever solving problems related to speed, time and distance, you should give a thorough attention to the units. Here, the speed is given in kilometers per hour and the distance is in meters. So either you should convert the speed to meters per hour or you should convert the distance to kilometers. So let us convert distance to kilometers. So we have 2500 meters. It is equals to 2500 divided by 1000 kilometers, right? So this is actually 2.5 kilometers. So we have the distance, we have the speed. What is the time? So we know the formula for speed. Speed is equals to distance upon time. So speed is 10, distance is 2.5, time is what we want to find. So time is 2.5 by 10 and that is 0 0.25. Now what will be the unit of time? Well, we have the unit of speed as kilometers per hour. So the time will be in hours. So 0.25 hours is the time taken to cover 2500 meters. Let us talk more about conversions here. You have to convert this speed which is given in x kilometers per hour into meters per second. Well, this x kilometers per hour can be written as x times 1 kilometer is 1000 meters. So 1000 meters and 1 hour is 60 minutes. So we've got the meters there. Now let us convert this minutes into seconds. So you have x times 1000 meters upon 60 minutes is 60 times 60 seconds. Because 1 minute is 60 seconds, so 60 minutes will be 60 times 60 seconds. So these zeros get cancelled out. We have x times 10 by 6, 6 are 36 meters per second. Now 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 18 is 36. So you have x kilometers per hour is equals to x times 5 by 18 meters per second. So this is an important conversion here. Whenever you have to convert any speed which is given in kilometers per hour to meters per second, you just have to multiply it by 5 by 18. In the same way, if you have been given the speed as x meters per second and you have to convert it into kilometers per hour, just multiply it by 18 by 5. So you have x times 18 by 5 kilometers per hour. So this is another formula that you have. So we have another question for you. At a certain speed, a train reaches its destination in 60 minutes. How much time is taken if the train is traveling at two-thirds of the speed? Well, you have the two quantities, speed and time. Right, the distance is the same. Let us consider the speed of this train as x when it reaches its destination in 60 minutes. Right, now we have been asked how much is the time taken if the train is traveling at two-thirds of the speed. So let the time be t and it is asked that how much is this time when it is traveling at two-thirds of the speed. So two-thirds of x. Now we need to find a relationship between speed and time. Well, speed is inversely proportional to time, right? Because speed is distance upon time. So speed is inversely proportional to time. Now we can take a proportion but that needs to be inverse. Let us invert this term. t by 60 is equal to, this term is as it is, x by 2 by 3x. x, x gets cancelled out. You have t equals to 3 by 2 times 60. So 2 times 30 is 60. 
t is equals to 90 minutes. So this leads to a conclusion. Well, if you have been given the ratio of speed as x and y, then the ratio of the time taken to cover the same distance is just the inversion of that ratio, which is y is 2x. Here we had been given two speeds and we had been given two times and one of the times we had to find out. Right. So you could have solved this using this analogy given right there.